Greetings, Saber Rights. Anonymous here. A question that uh, keeps coming up a whole lot, um, it just won't stop, and I guess it's probably because we don't have it all in one little spot, so I'll put it for you here in this little, uh, little video here. So this is for all the um, learners in exile out there who are following our system. Um, the question comes up a whole lot, what is the difference between Sai, Cho, and Shim slash Shiak? Um, and there's a, a lot of different answers. I mean, obviously, lots of people have different views or whatever. When our terms, this is what they're referring to. So when we say Sai, um, this is a full amplitude slice right through a target. Right? And we've talked about this before, where I'm coming around and following through, and I have some sort of follow-through to control that so that it's not a wild overswing, and then I'm out of position at the end of it. Um, this is obviously more for training purposes, to, to get power behind strikes, all of that kind of thing. Um, next up is Cho. Now, Cho is a little bit different. Um, but kind of the same as Sai. And basically what it is, is any strike that you're going to do that is intended to kind of go just through the target, okay? So this type of kind of shorter chopping motion, like this, um, out of any kind of wielding or orbit or anything like this, you can do good chose. Now chose have a little bit of a follow through, but they generally don't. So when you end with this, you're in a much better position than say if you were in Psy or uh, something like that, um, unless you're going into a guard. But <clears throat> generally speaking, Cho is a favored strike because it has a whole lot of power and it's aimed a lot of times at the limbs because that's kind of the size target we're thinking about. Um, if we're doing uh, test cutting, you know, a tatami mat or, or something like that, where we're just going through it, right? Now, the last strike, or strikes, depending on how you look at it, is the shim shiak. And the reason we have it, them bundled together is not just to shoehorn them into three, which is, you know, admittedly part of the reason. But um, they use essentially the same motion, but it's going to be different in its relative application. Meaning this, um, these are intended to be, as far as the uh, strikes, pretty much attacking with the tip of the blade, right? So we're doing tags. They're not really intended to cut through anything. They're not really intended to, to move through a target or anything like that. They're just meant to, you know, tag. They're often used as beat parries um, or just ways to throw strikes at somebody to get them to respond. Um, they're very useful, obviously, in, um, as far as sparring goes, because they're going to be your most reliable um, strikes to get, right? It's just a quick tag like that. Now, a thrust is essentially the same motion, this kind of levering motion here, right? Using this as the fulcrum, right? But instead of using this as the fulcrum, right, we're going to use the tip and move it forward like that, into a thrust, like that. So biomechanically, they're very similar, right? Um, obviously, in application, they're very different, um, but they still kind of fit within the kind of the same category. So really, what it comes down to for our system is that the psi is the full energy that you're going to give a strike, right? So all of, all of your effort, all of your strength, all of your, all of your energy, right? Uh, Cho is going to be, you're going to be kind of limiting the amount of energy that you're putting out so that you don't go so far out of position. So just going past the center line, going here, that kind of thing, right? And then the Shim Shiak is going to be very short energy, very centered, all, mostly in the hilt, the hands, right? And then going to be backed up by movement with the body, whether it be a 
lunge if, if I'm going to go very far forward or if I'm just going to kind of poke at something there just to, you know, get somebody to, again, to respond, right? Go over there. Very, very short energy. It's easy to abandon te the technique. You don't usually come out of position to do them, so they're very, they're very reliable and they should be a staple or mainstay of uh, your practice. Um, working on the accuracy with them, that's where the trick comes. So, Psi, large, long energy. Cho, short, chopping energy. And Shim Shiak, very short, brief, instant kind of tapping energy. Um, that kind of thing, so more of a beat. Um, so hopefully that clears a little bit of some stuff up. Um, like I said, that's just for our system. I don't know how other people um, do it. Um, other people are gonna be appropriating these terms in different in, in different uh, different ways. So, uh, but if you are uh, wondering what we are talking about when we say it, that's it. All right. So hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day. Happy savoring.